It's that spooky time of year, which means, as toy collectors, we gotta start decorating with our favorite spooky toys. It's always fun to see what kind of toys were out there from various cartoons or movies or just their own creations that sort of feel like Halloween and make this time of year extra fun. Well, we're going to talk about one of those toy lines today, one that I don't hear brought up too often anymore. So today on Toy Explosion, we're talking about Toon Sylvania. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan. Oh wait, sorry, spooky season. Hey guys, I am Phantom Dan, and today we're gonna be checking out some of the items from Toonsylvania. So what is Toonsylvania? Well, Toonsylvania, directed in part by Steven Spielberg, was actually the very first animated series under the DreamWorks banner. That's some pretty crazy trivia, right? But the 90s was an era where Steven Spielberg cartoons kind of reigned supreme for a lot of us of that generation. I'm talking Tiny Toon Adventures, I'm talking Animaniacs, and lots of other shows just like that. But Toonsylvania is one that I almost don't even remember, and I don't ever hear anybody talking about. This series debuted in 1998, only lasted about 21 episodes, ended in 99, so it didn't really go very far, but it's a pretty fun series. Every episode comprises various shorts that follow different characters that are all inspired by classic monsters. So a lot of fun to be had there and, and it gave us a toy line. That's right, my friends, this show is called Toy Explosion and we're here to talk about the toys. So let's check out some toys from Toonsylvania. Experiment in Toonsylvania. It's insane. Yeah! Mad scientist yeah. will cycle in this place. That not Bill's liver. You said it, Bill! Experiment run the muck right in your face. Ooh, what a face. The Monster Muck Collection! Mix the monkey monster muck. Yeah! Yuck! Oh, yeah! Experiments, they go insane. Yeah! In Toonsylvania! Psychorama and Monster Muck figures each sold separately. A series of action figures and playsets was produced by Toy Island. I'm gonna take a look at a few of those here today, being one of the basic action figures in Dr. Vic Frankenstein and one of the playsets in the Deluxe Laboratory playset. Let's kick things off with Dr. Vic. As you can see from the quite colorful packaging, the official callouts for the Toonsylvania figures is Monsters, Muck, and Mayhem. Uh, or uh, part of the Monster Muck Collection. Uh, and they are figures that fizz and foam. Wow, that's a lot of ways to essentially say that these figures have a messy, fizzing action feature. In fact, it's a theme that you're going to see with the playsets as well, and we'll definitely be seeing that in action in this video. The back of the packaging shows off a selection of other figures that you can also find for this line, and I gotta say I do love when a cross-sell on an action figure box features artwork of the toys rather than photographs. There's just something so very nostalgic about that. So out of his fancy plastic and cardboard prison, Dr. Vic stands at about five inches tall and features very minimal articulation. In fact, what little articulation he has is rendered almost moot by his action feature. And I'm not talking about that fizz feature. Dr. Vic has another action feature entirely in the form of a launching head. Yep, his head is a spring firing missile. Just press his right arm and his head pops right off of his shoulders. The arm trigger can be a little finicky, but a little futzing around will get the head to launch right off the body. He's a very nice looking figure, doing a great job of capturing the animation. Also included in that box is a nice little display stand for the figure to pose on. 
These figure stands are shaped in such a way that they can all fit alongside each other, meaning if you collect the other figures in this line, they'll all match up to create one large display area. You might have noticed that the top portion of his head is clear. That's where our fizzing action feature comes into play. He also has this silver helmet that can clip right over his head, but that hides the fizz effect that we're about to check out. A small severed hand holding a vial also comes packaged with Dr. Vic. I love this thing. It's absolutely gruesome. It's covered in glossy yellow paint, giving it the appearance that it's oozing pus. It's delightfully disgusting. The vial can be removed and it's meant to make it easier to pour water into Vic's head. You're also going to need the included packet of monster powder. Start by removing the plug from the back of Vic's head, add a little bit of that monster powder, then pour in some warm, not hot, distilled water using that included vial and get ready for some fizzing fun. It happens fast, but it works. Pinkish foam fizzes right out of the back of his cranium and leaks all over the place. It's messy, yet satisfying. I also love how after the fizzing has finished, you're left with this pink liquid in his head that just looks like his brain matter is sloshing around. All right, let's jump over to the Deluxe Laboratory playset. Assembly is required on this one as you have to attach the various pieces to the base. But one thing I love is that it comes with so much stuff. Aside from a wonderful diorama, the lab also includes an exclusive Igor action figure. You also get Post-Op Phil, which is a version of this show's Frankenstein character featuring removable limbs so you can put them together and take them apart again. The limbs can all be stored on the shelf in the back there, and the table can be used to strap his body in place for assembly. You also get this great little skeleton figure, which, like Phil, is also able to be pulled apart. You can then store all those bones in the small box on the floor that's perfectly labeled Box of Bones. And then there's this little rat. He's adorable and he can fall through this little trap door and get stuck inside this rat cage. Aww. The playset also requires batteries for some lights and some sound effects. There's this great little brain in a jar in the back here, and when you press down on his dome, his eyes glow red. Then there are three buttons on the floor. Two of them just make some random crashing sound effects. while the third gives us one Dr. Vic voice clip. What are you doing, Eagle? What are you doing, Eagle? Oh yeah, and Dr. Vic looks great in the lab, of course. His base even slides up to it pretty nicely. It's not a perfect fit to the playset, but it works. It looks good. But of course, the star of this particular playset is the skull head shower and the acid bath. Like with the action figures, you're gonna get two packets of that monster powder included in the box. Toss some of those skeleton bones in the tub there, and then sprinkle in a little bit of that monster powder. You don't even have to use the whole pack. About half of a package seems to work nicely. The shower head can unscrew from the base. You'll then wanna fill this up with some distilled water. Replace that shower head, and then position it over the tub. When you pump the shower head, you'll spritz the water into the tub and cause a fizzing reaction with that monster powder. It's a pretty great effect. And with the bones in there, it really looks like Dr. Vic and Igor just melted someone in acid. But don't don't worry, they they didn't really melt somebody. He was he was already a skeleton, remember? Like with the figure, it is a bit of a messy feature, but I will say the playset cleans up pretty well since the tub and all the other parts are removable, so they're real easy to rinse off. And overall, I think this is a pretty fun action feature. Of course, if you run out of that monster powder, that ruins the best effect, 
but I'm sure you can always recreate it yourself with some household items like baking powder and vinegar. It is sort of like a homemade volcano effect after all. All in all, the Toonsylvania toys from Toy Island are pretty fun. I think that they look great, the aesthetic looks a lot like the animation, and the action feature is messy. Yes, I understand not everybody's cup of tea, but it's fun. It really is a lot of fun. If you are somebody who wants to kind of spruce up your house around this spooky time of year and you're always looking for cool haunted toys to check out, maybe check out the Toonsylvania figures. They're actually pretty easy to track down even online, they're not too expensive, and I think they're a lot of fun. There's actually a lot of play sets, which is kind of surprising for something that didn't really last very long. We don't usually get even one play set for these short-lived toy lines, and this one got several. So definitely worth checking out. Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another episode of Toy Explosion. I hope you enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun checking these out because these were brand new to me. So hopefully you had as much fun watching me play with them here in this episode. I want to give a very special thanks to all of my supporters over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. I couldn't do this without you. And of course, all of you guys at home. Thank you for continuing to watch the videos on this channel, liking, commenting. You all are awesome. I couldn't do this without you guys. Enjoy the rest of your Halloween season. Phantom Dan out. Woo!